Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson of 3D Drawing for your model railway. I've been asked a question in one of the comments about how you can go about changing the scale of something you've produced. So I'm going to show you a few options. I'm going to show you some of the, the pitfalls that you've got to be wary of as well and think you might need to go back and change. So if, if we start off with quite a simple one, what we'll do is I've already exported this file to a 3D print file and this is for the skip. So if we go into Chitubox, which is our slicing software, and then we can open up the file. Uh, so I've got the skip file here. And that's this is in in N gauge, British N British N gauge, so that's one to one four eight. So within Chitubox, what I can do is there's this tool here on the side here for scaling. And you can just go in here and change it to the percentage you want it to be different. So I think uh, N-Gage to 00 is 189%. Um, and then that, you know, takes it up to double O gauge. You know, you could, if you're going 2 mil to 4 mil, then you're going to go 200%. You know, it depends on what, on what percentage you want to increase or decrease the, the model by. Uh, so that's probably the easiest way to, to, to rescale the model. Um, you can also do it within Fusion. Okay, so within Fusion, you can do the same thing. You can come along, select the body, do modify, and then uh, scale. It comes up, entities already selected because I've selected the body. And this one, you've got to do it as, as a, a decimal point. So 1.89 to increase it. Okay, so that's, that's two ways you can do it. Now, the issue that you've got when you're doing things like increasing scale or decreasing scale, if I just undo that a second, if we inspect the thickness of the, the wall thickness here, so if we're inspecting from that line to that line, now I've got a scale wall thickness there of one millimeter. Okay. Now if I was to go and redo that and scale it to 1.89% bigger and inspect the same thing, I've now got a wall thickness of 1.89. So what you may want to start thinking about doing when you start rescaling models, it doesn't matter what model you scale from, is you may have to go back in and edit the edit the, the file itself. So you can just go into back into here, edit the feature. So this was the uh, thickness of the, the wall here. So it's 0 0.5 here because uh, as we drew the model, we, we end up putting a top rail in here. So you could just reduce the thickness down here. So let's say we want it to go to 0.3 uh, millimeters. And then as it jumps all the way back through all of this work, it will then automatically rescale anything that was beyond that point for that, that measurement. So if we now inspect those two lines, we've now got 1.512. So you know you can play around here and change the details, and you're going to have to be careful of that, especially going from N gauge to double O. That's one thing you've got to be careful of: is that wall thickness is going to increase and it's going to make like window recesses or details potentially bigger than you actually need. The the biggest issue is coming back down the other way. So if you were to take a model and say, let's say we drew something to, to full scale, and then we try to reduce that down to double O or N gauge. Well, then the problem you're going to then have is the minimum thicknesses of what you've drawn would potentially become too thin for the printer to be able to print it accurately and you'll end up with details either not printing or misshaped items because it can't have the strength within it uh, so there is ways that you can go and change those um, but as i say you just got to be careful and that's why if you follow these tutorials you'll learn how to do basic drawing within the CAD and you can go back and change things quite simply like I did there, change that wall thickness. I could have um, the, these circles on the side here that we used for the, the mountain points. You could just go in there, edit the sketch. They're, they're 0 0.5 millimeters there. Let's change them to 0 0.25 millimeters. Okay, finish the sketch. And then you can see how they've automatically you know, rescaled to a different diameter. Now, if I was to inspect this, it shouldn't be 0 0.25 because um, that's done before the, the scaling issue. So, you know, you just got to think about that as you go back through all those items and change them, you know, that, that you've got to look for those particular changes you made. Okay. 
Another way you can do it is Fusion's actually got a calculator within the drawing. So if you were to come into here, edit the sketch, let's say we were to look at this dimension here. Okay. Now, it's difficult to do this when you've got lots of drawings like this, but that's measured at six millimeters. Okay. So let's say we wanted to up that to um, double O gauge. So you can do six millimeters and then times 148, which is N scale divide by 76 which then is double O scale and you can see that it give you the correct dimension if you were to want him to do that um, by editing the the, the drawings um, so yeah that, that's your ways you can go about changing those within within the drawing itself but as I say how you do it is completely up to you but when you think about things like wall thickness, then you're probably going to want to come back and edit within Fusion 360 what you do rather than just doing it through Chitty Box here. Although, to be fair, you know, on a lot of things that you would draw, you're not going to notice a massive amount of difference. You know, if we were to look at, say, something like the, the relay cabinets we did on Lesson 1, that there is no wall thickness there. So when there's no wall thickness, you're not going to notice that difference um, when you just scale it up in Chitty Box, it's only when you start to look at things that have got this um, thickness of material that you need to start worrying about going back and changing those. So I hope that's answered the question. If you get any more questions, then please fire them across on comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe the videos.